Hello everybody, my name is Braxter and welcome to Retro Reviews, the show where I basically review old movies and maybe even a TV show down the line, but mostly movies from film's glorious past and give a Monday perspective on it. Uh, today's movie is Dumb and Dumber. Now this is the movie starring Jim Carrey, um, who went on to do so many things after this movie. Um, and basically, he just, it, this is a full comedy, just a full comedy from start to finish. Uh, two people who are absolutely dumb. It's ridiculous how dumb they are, but they play it so well, it's hilarious. Um, and yeah, basically they just, they, they play this very, very dumb character and there is meant to, basically they get caught up in this weird ransom type act and they've got like you've got like the police you've got um these pe really bad people who have kidnapped somebody trying to get their money back and then you have these people not realizing anything any of this is going on they haven't got a clue they don't suspect a thing from anybody um so yeah this is this is just quite simply just a hilarious movie from from start to finish the the gags they just work they really do work um you know it's just they are just so awkward in the best way possible like i wouldn't even say cringy um because i find a lot of these these types of movies seem to be very very cringy this one i wouldn't say is i would say it's just very funny like it's not like where you're laughing out loud like a lot there's not like this one massive joke that you're just like oh my god that's hilarious it's just it's just constantly funny like you're just constantly chuckling to yourself while watching it it's just like for god's sake you know it's just it's just simple it is it's very simple uh this is a movie i used to watch when i was a kid um i used to watch it a lot i haven't seen it in years and I can't believe I'm saying that. I haven't seen this movie in years. I forgot the whole plot. So it was almost like I was viewing it. Whereas a lot of the movies I've reviewed before, like I've, I've watched reasonably recently or I've seen clips of recently. Dumb and Dumber, I haven't. Uh, I haven't seen any clips. I haven't even seen the sequel. Um, to which, if you want me to review the sequel, I will find it and I'll review the sequel. Um which came out not so long ago. Um, it's, it won't be in retro reviews, it would be in a general review. Surprisingly, they just they brought it back randomly and I was chuffed to bits that they did. Um, but yeah, I completely forgot the plot, didn't have a clue what was going on, which I think made it a lot more, a lot easier to do this video. You know, a lot of the time I'm watching it from a two, three, four time playthrough. I haven't seen this in years. So this is very much just quite simply just me enjoying it as if it was the first time. And I was watching it, I was like, come on, there must, there must be a flaw in this. I couldn't find one. I can't believe I'm saying this. I couldn't find a flaw. Like, there wasn't a single part. Like, as I said, they weren't even cringy. They were just funny. Um, Jim Carrey is one of my favourite actors ever. I love his zaniness. I love his wackiness. Uh, I think he's hilarious. Um, I can't remember the other guy's name, but he is brilliant as well. Um, and they're just... They try out to outdo each other. But they're so thick that they don't even realise that half the time they're not outdoing each other. They're just making things worse as time goes on. Like they just haven't got a clue. Um, like the simple part, they will both like meet the same person, and they won't have a clue that they've both met the same person. They will both be describing them, and it's just it's stupid, you know. Um, and then it's just, I think there's this one part where this guy, talk, uh, the one guy talks about um, him sleeping with someone. And then Jim Carrey's character is like, oh my god, she was amazing, isn't he? He slept with her. And he just didn't notice. The other guy just didn't notice. He didn't click. He just completely didn't click. He was just like, oh, what? why is she amazing? And it was, it was just like, 
oh, it just just because you know I know how amazing you said she was, and but yeah, it, it's just they are so thick, and it just adds to it. Like a movie called Dumb and Dumber, you need two people that are just completely thick, um, in the head, like at one point one funny part that I found was like their budgie had got killed by having its head ripped off and instead of that they decided uh, that the budgie had died miraculously by its head falling off that by old age its just head just fell off like Heads don't fall off when you die. It's just, it's so thick, and it just, it still makes me just chuckle to myself just thinking about some of the gags that were in it. Like, and it, it it's sim, it's literally, it's perfect for its simplicity. It didn't need a complicated plot. Wasn't complicated. It didn't need twist. It did well. It, it, you know, it didn't need, it didn't need this big massive twist like. Oh my god, they were smart the whole time. If you get what I mean, like, you know, I, I that would have just ruined it. No, that wasn't them at all, you know. It was quite simple, just a simple story, and it was just, it was perfect from start to finish. Uh, the little ending sequence, which isn't attached to the main story, um, I'm not going to spoil it, because it's at the end, but, like, the like the 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 story finishes and then there's a little scene. Um, sorry about the camera there. Um, <laughs> there's a little scene where basically a couple of things happen, but it's not attached to the main story. That part is just hilarious. I, I absolutely love that. Um, so yeah, it, it's there's not much really to say on this, like. I've given you as much of the plot I can um, without spoiling anything. It, it basically lays the groundwork pretty early on as to what the story is. Um, but it's it's on Netflix currently. Um, it's I think it recently came on. It might have been on there for a while, to be honest. Um, but I'm pretty sure it'll be on other platforms as well. Probably Sky will probably have it. Um, and guaranteed you'll be able to find it anywhere else. Um, so yeah, that that is quite simply my review on Dumb and Dumber. If you've got anything to say, put it down in the comments down below. Um, did you like it? Did you not like it? For me, as I said, this this is perfect. It still is a flawless movie for me, uh, and this could live on for years to come. There's there's no real problems with it. The story's perfect. Uh, even the camera work and everything is perfect. The sound, everything. Uh, there's nothing in this movie that holds it back in the modern day. So I, for me, this is a flawless movie. Did you think it was like what flaw? Did you find any flaws in this? Because I couldn't. Um, and also, as this is retro reviews, what retro movies do you want me to review? I've got a whole list on my wall over there, like post-it noted up. Um, I've got so much um, that I can come out with. Um, but the only way for to guarantee that one of yours may come up is to put it down in the comments down below for me to add to my list. So do that as well. And hit that like button to tell me that you like this video. It just helps me out a lot. So I really appreciate that. And subscribe if, you, if you're new. Um, so you don't miss anything that I'm coming out with. So yeah. Thank you guys for watching. And I will see you in the next video. See ya.